all of you are very familiar with what is happening all over the world right now with coronavirus. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on things that it's affecting um, in my life and also what is happening, um, what I know that is happening around Austin and around the world from what I've heard from the news and everything. So I'm not the happiest person about how this has affected me. So today I've had to cancel a couple trips. I did mention before that I was supposed to go to Miami for a week for Ultra Music Festival and Miami Music Week. I just canceled my flights today for that. Um, this is a trip that my friend and I were planning for months. Um, my birthday is next week, so it was also going to be my birthday trip and also her birthday is later on this month, so we're going to celebrate our birthdays there, go see some of our favorite DJs and meet up with a bunch of people and now there's no sense in going with the growth of coronavirus in the U.S. and um, the possibility of contracting it and honestly my main fear is contracting it and spreading it to other people like my family that's older, uh, elders like in my life because it may not harm me but I don't want to put them at risk. So that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to cancel and then also just ultras canceled, Miami Music Week is canceled, the whole reason we were going to Miami is gone. Um, and then today, I was supposed to go to Tulum, Mexico, with my friend. And we were supposed to leave at 11 a.m. And we canceled at, like, 8.30 because the news just keeps getting more crazy by the hour. More people are dying. More people are getting infected. There are a couple cases here in Austin, Texas now. Actually, the president of UT, uh, University of Texas, the school here, where I went to school, he his wife has it, and he might have it, and another one of his family members has it. They shut down the school, people are working from home. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have like a quarantine issued soon, so everyone like will have to stay home. And honestly, I think uh, it's called like social distancing. Social distancing. And basically... Um, it's just people distancing themselves from each other will stop the spread of the virus and they're doing it in Italy and it buys um, people time, like the authorities and um, the people in the lab and whatever time, which is really precious so that they can figure out what the next steps are. So I'm pretty sure that'll take place soon and I think it should have already taken place before it started spreading so fast throughout the U.S. Um... And the markets dropped like crazy and I really advise anyone if the markets drop again to buy in but today they actually went really high I guess the government pumped in a bunch of money so um, the stocks all went up but I did invest a little bit but I wish I did more before they went back up um yeah so I also wanted to take this time in this video to say that while all of this chaos is happening around us and is throwing our life off the rails, um, whether it be like your work life, your lifestyle, your trips that you have planned, scheduling appointments and everything, um, I think it's important to take this time to be grateful that I'm not sick. No one I know personally has contracted the virus either. Super glad about that, knock on wood. But um, also, like, to slow down, like, slow down your life. I mean, here in the U.S. especially, people are just rushing and busy and just don't take time to, like, stop ever. And this is kind of forcing us to. It's forcing us to stay home a bit. It's forcing us to um, slow down, like, in general not go on as many trips, enjoy your time with your family and friends at home. Um, my birthday is next week and I'm going to be celebrating it here in Austin instead of Miami, which is not what I had planned, but instead of doing it in Miami, now I get to celebrate it with my friends and we're going to go for dinner and there's a bright side to situations. Obviously this one has a lot of 
negative sides and um, it's hard to see the bright side sometimes, but I think we should take this time to reflect on everything that we have and what this virus has done to us, but also like Take it in stride, do your best to stay safe, don't go out if you don't need to, stay away from large crowds, wash your hands, practice good hygiene, um, just spend some time alone, spend some time with close friends and family who you know aren't sick and hopefully you aren't sick, but um, yeah, just slow down. And I have another video which I filmed actually when this virus just started breaking out about coronavirus and my top tips that you can use to stay safe from contracting the virus. And I'll leave the link for that in the screen and also down below. But just be very careful. My fellow travelers out there, I know how hard it is right now to have to cancel your trips or not plan trips and not know when you're going to be able to travel again. But just take this time to be at home, get work done, get ahead of yourself on your projects because when this goes away, hopefully soon, we can get on those trips. And also another tip is that flights are very cheap right now. So I would suggest going ahead and buying flights for the future now because you can always cancel them or change the dates and things like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, I have more Columbia videos coming because I have so much content from that trip still and I have a couple other exciting videos, San Francisco and yeah, maybe I'll film another something from Austin and I also plan on filming a credit card tip video too so I can teach you guys how you can travel more for less or for free. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe and if you have any more questions about the coronavirus safety about it, um, news, anything like that, please leave me comments below and I will be sure to answer them to the best of my ability um, in the comment section. So yeah, just stay safe and be healthy and don't travel. I'll talk to you guys.